Hi hey there YouTube, just wanted to show you my heat powered wood stove fan that I created out of some junk off of eBay and stuff I had laying around. So I'll just go through it. For these, the heat comes up through the wood stove and comes through the base and goes up, hits the two thermoelectric generators and then gets cooled off and spins the fan through a motor. So there's no batteries or plugs or anything involved, it just works on its own self-contained. It's really neat. <clears throat> you might have seen the Eco Fan by Caframo from Canada. Anyway, uh, this is a solid state relay uh, cooling base with the fins removed. This is a Pentium 3 Cooler Master CPU cooling unit with the fins removed and then ground flat. And it's nice. It's got this copper slug in there to retain a bunch of heat to transfer into the uh, these are actually chi cheap Chinese TECs. Wish I would have got the higher quality American TEGs, but such is life. And this is a 40 millimeter by 100 millimeter by 4 millimeter copper plate <clears throat> on top. That's uh, attached to a Dell Optiplex uh, CP or server cooling unit, one of the six tube ones. If you go on eBay, they're about nine dollars, ten dollars shipped to your house. They're a good deal. And then this is a 1.3 to 6 volt solar motor. They're really cheap on eBay as well. Although I think this is just a mock-up. <clears throat> I think I'm going to end up using this Nissan Denki motor because I've tried it with this setup and it seems to work pretty good. So, like I said, these are just two TECs wired in series. Just standard to the motor. Now the fan is kind of a trickier setup because you've got to kind of scale the fan the whole thing to the motor. Now with a more powerful motor I think you can get away with probably a bigger fan but on this particular weak cheap motor I had to get the whole setup below an ounce in order for it to keep spinning <clears throat> and to start up. I had a really nice uh, kind of cone shaped hub originally for this but it was just too heavy and just wouldn't wouldn't spin but it works pretty good and uh, I'll get some footage tonight it's just a little hard with the lighting but uh, I'll show you it spinning and uh, yeah it works pretty well um, just kinda put it together using the uh, this thermal transfer paste in between the layers just to kinda keep everything uh, in contact with each other. I tried to grind and sand as much smooth as possible especially on uh, the parts that I had to remove the fins. It's kind of a tricky deal. Uh, if you use a, uh, a four and a half inch angle grinder it takes them off a lot faster than trying to use a bench grinder. The bench grinder just kind of puts little cups in it and it's kind of hard to get those flat but with the angle grinder if you screw it down to a cutting board or a piece of what I love using old cutting boards, that's what I generally use for this stuff. But if you screw it down to the cutting board and hit it with the angle grinder, you can wipe those fins off really fast. And it's definitely the preferred method. Um, yeah, as far as uh, attaching things, I used a kind of a split between metric and standard just because as, those are the, uh, the uh, taps and dies and stuff that I have. And uh, if you get the the 40 by uh, 100 by 4 millimeter plate, it, it seems to line up perfectly just to use some uh, bolts without nuts if you retap these holes on the plate there to hold it without having to mess with it. And I just wired it together <coughs> so that I can take these out. I've got some of this copper braided line I really like. So I just wired it together and uh, so I can take it out and service it in case I need to. Like I said, I'm probably going to change this quite a bit. I got some ideas as far as uh, mounting the motor a little bit better. I just had some washers laying around and it happened to be about the right size. I stuck it in the lathe and opened the hole up a little bit, but it's not ideal. But it works. And uh, yeah, for less than the price of a used, broken eco fan, I've got a, kind of a handy, cool, steampunky looking heat powered fan. So if you're thinking about making one yourself, I say go for it. Just uh, be careful when you buy the uh, components that you don't 
get things out of scale because it definitely goes out of control fast where you have a non-functional unit where you once would have had something that was functional. So there it is and I'll shoot some footage later. Thanks.